Hey everyone, back for video number two. Uh, we've had a look in video number one at how we've managed to implement joint accounts on the Nano Network. And in this video, we're gonna have a look just in whiteboard form at some of the cool things that we can do now that we have joint accounts. And the killer feature of joint accounts, I think, is privacy. Now, the really cool thing that joint accounts lets us do is create a mixing account with no trust necessary. So suppose we've got four people, A, B, C, and D. Now, in the past, they could have sent all their funds into one account and then sent them all out again to new accounts, and you would not have been able to tell by looking at a block explorer whose funds had gone to which account. So say this might have been an exchange account or something. So this might have been the massive Binance wallet, and you know, four accounts go in, and out the other side, you know, maybe A has two outputs, maybe B, C, and D are all the same person in this uh, consolidated account, but they just don't want you to know. So you have three new accounts here, and it's really unclear once the funds go in and out who they belong to. But the problem with that is that you have to trust Binance uh, either not to reveal that information, because obviously whoever controls the Binance wallet knows who is who. I actually believe those there. But rather, uh, you, rather than having to trust Binance, you want to be able to do this trustlessly. And the way that Joint Accounts lets us do that is it lets us create an account that A, B, C, and D all jointly control and have to sign all the transactions for. So what they would do is set up a joint account, they would send their funds in, and before anyone sends funds in, they would together pre-sign all the transactions out to all the new accounts. So because they've pre-signed all of these, they can know with confidence that if they send their funds in, they can't be pulled out anywhere except these new accounts unless everybody signs off on it. So if I'm B, I can send my funds in knowing that A can't just take them somewhere else. The only place that the funds can go is the place that we've jointly all pre-authorized and I had to be involved. Now, uh, there is one difficulty with this. Now let's suppose that we start this mixing process and then someone either you know, is malicious or just they have a bad internet connection and they drop out. So let's say C drops out. What happens then? Uh, because Nano is based on an account chain, Transactions that we pre-authorize have to happen in order. So none of these sending out transactions can happen until after all the funds have been received. Uh, but if C doesn't manage to send their funds in, but A, B, and D do, well, we're in a pickle because now the funds are in here for A, B, and D, but how do they get them out? Uh, so the way that we would do that is basically to pre-sign not just our outputs, but also to pre-sign the refund scenario. So in the case where C drops out, we would also have pre-signed a series of transactions that refunds A, B, and D. Now, this sounds good and it works, that works just fine, but as you start to get more people, you have a real scaling problem. Because just look at this. Already, the order can be A, B, D, or A, D, B, or B, A, D, or B, D, A. You see, like, the, the number of combinations, if you have 10 inputs, actually gets up so high that it causes real problems. It's actually too many for most computers to be able to really do anything useful with. So what do we do about that? Well, the solution to that is actually to have a binary tree of two-person joint accounts or two signature joint accounts. And that looks something like this. We have our big mix account that we're trying to get into with all our outputs. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And they do a binary tree like this, of these intermediate joint accounts. Those joint accounts ultimately make it into the big mix account and then out the other side. But of course, here, if E drops out, now, instead of having to have a series of refund scenarios that take into account every combination of these people, we really just need to know, are we gonna do this branch first or that branch first. And then under that, we're gonna do this branch first or this branch first. So there's really many, many fewer pathways that we have to be able to refund in order to get back A's money and B's money and C's money and so on. So a binary tree of two, two input joint accounts is how we do that and have the refund story work out. Uh, so that's what's coming up with NanoFusion. That's what we're gonna be building on top of the joint account things that we've been demoing in the previous video. Uh, one more cool feature I'll share with you that joint accounts enable us to do is trustless escrow. 
So this is a really cool thing for, you're gonna run a site like eBay. Let's say that you're eBay. And you wanna use Nano. Uh, you've got A who wants to buy, say, you know, a surfboard or something from B. So what you do is you create a joint account with A. This is A and eBay. Now you would jointly sign two transactions. So A is gonna send, you know, whatever, 300 nano into here, waiting for B to send a surfboard. So A sends funds in, and then these two jointly create a transaction sending those funds onto B, and a transaction sending those funds back to A. Now, A has sent the funds into here and is waiting for B to send the surfboard. Now, if A raises a dispute with eBay and says, hey, I sent the money, but B never sent me the goods, eBay can say, yep, we see B never sent the goods, here's your money back. Or eBay can say, no, 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 we think you're lying, we think B did send the goods, they sent us photos of themselves posting it, whatever. They can say, no, 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 we're gonna exercise the, the uh, send to B option. And so you can have this sort of semi-trusted escrow where funds are held and both parties know that they can only either be refunded or sent on, but eBay is not actually able to make away with those funds. They can only send them back to A or forward to B. And that's also enabled by this joint account system with pre-signed transaction sets. Uh, so that's, that's the point of NanoFusion. That's where it's going. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get all of these features all the way implemented with UI and all the rest of it in time for the deadline, but the joint account feature works and all the cryptography stuff works. And I think that's that's really the difficult part and that's done. So thanks for hanging in and I'll see you online on Reddit.